Hello, hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In this long video, or playlist, I haven't decided yet what to make of it. But I think it's gonna be a long, long video, divided up in different sections so you can skip around. It's going to be about lighting up the copier room that will be provided in the description. And later on, we're gonna build up it. Build up that computer <laughs> copier room from scratch, but not for the not now. So this is focusing on lighting up a nice scene, or in this case, the copier room. So how is it gonna look? It's gonna look like this. <coughs> We're gonna have some spotlights here. Make this fancy effect. Looks real cool. And one over here. And then an I don't know if you can see it here, but it's just a regular light up here. No cool effect. So, we got this button, button over here that says turn on the lights. When you press it, these lights are going to turn on. They shouldn't be on when you load, but they are now for showing. And then it's going to break, going to spark, and this, you can see here it goes to tubes here. This is gonna break and some glass is gonna fall down and it's gonna start sparking. So the things we will look at or rather create or doing here is some basic lights. We're gonna set them up, go very briefly into them. Very briefly. I don't think I even cover anything else than appearance and the brightness and color so it's nothing about the entity it's just getting the scene lit up and then we're gonna make these fancy spotlights and it's flare lens flare effect it's when you I call it the lens flare effect because I don't know the real word for it but if you look into a lamp a really bright lamp and then you can't see anything else when you're looking at it like when you're watching the sun that's what I call the lens flare effect. So we're gonna make that. And the button that toggles or switches the light on and then breaks. So let's get to it, shall we? To load up the map, you need to have the console in Left 4 Dead 2. So if you open up Steam, right click on Left 4 Dead 2, go down to properties and set launch option. You can set minus press minus and then set console and also you can do minus and no vid to skip the intro but that doesn't matter so you, you do this blam blam I'm gonna like this and then bam you're gonna have a console here when you start up so what you wanna do is bind the toggle console so you can remove it and pick it up whenever you need it so all right right here in console bind space whatever key I use F9 then toggle console oops there we go I did a little bracket there all right so every time I press F9 it comes up and if it doesn't come up when you press F9 or whatever key you assigned, you have to do like this a little bit and press F9, the key. All right, so now you put in map space and then copier. Then you can press this one, copy a room tutorial and submit. press enter listen you write map copy your room tutorial and press enter and it should load up so we're gonna fix the lightning in this scene so we're gonna do this adrenaline shot here shut up Nick I'm gonna do this little candle effect here and then when Whenever we press this button, 
the lights are gonna come off and then eventually this one will break and the switch and this switch will also break and spark and that one will also spark we got some fancy spotlights here which these are not so this is basically what we're gonna make we're gonna set the lightning in this scene so let's get going with that alright here I am I have loaded up hammer and I have opened the file that I linked in the description alright so we're gonna you can already see that I got the lights here and the lights here so we're just gonna remove these bam bam don't forget these as well and to move around you press Z and then you can move around with W A S D and the mouse if you don't know it already so we're gonna remove that light and these two things if you wa mark one of them they're gonna select the whole bunch so there you go we just need to delete these control to select more. Alright, I think that is all. I'm just gonna check around. No, 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 no. There we go. Two of them. Alright. And also we're gonna remove these things. And this spark here of course there we go so I'm gonna save this as it is right now because this is I'm gonna I'm gonna put two links in the description this no light and uh, the other one with light so I think I'm probably mush it up to a win or something will work that out so how do we create a light? <coughs> press this entity thing and press whatever you want, wherever you want on the map, and coach comes up. Coach is an info survival protection <laughs> position. It's the default entity when you, yeah, spawn a new entity. He's gonna get up. So we need to change this entity to a uh, light. Simple as that. Blam! We got a light. <coughs> Here we got some brightness. This is the colors. I think you are familiar with them. Let's see if I do. Blam, blam, and then gotta get a yellow color. You can also pick them here and press OK. But we're gonna have a white, so 255, and this is the brightness very important this is gonna be our dark room so mostly it's gonna be around 5 to 15 I think the max was in this room so yeah let's do like that and then we can press ctrl E to snap I'm just gonna place it somewhere in here Right. Then you press F9. You're gonna probably be presented with this. Run map. So we wanna run the BSP, this is that's the walls and stuff. This we don't really care now. And rad to normal with HDR. You can unbuck this and complain. Now it's compiling. So we're just gonna check out that light, what it did with just one light with five in brightness we're gonna check how that looks in the meanwhile <laughs> you can just press here okay if nav alright 
So now we got one light, and it's right here, as you see my weapon shines. It's right here. I think we can see it if I do like this. Wireframe. Oh, fuck that. This looks alright, in my opinion, actually. But we want this fancy light that I did. We want it to be able to be toggled, at least turned on with this button. And if I press E now, it won't be working. And it's always gonna be turned on. It's bad, in our case. So, let's go down here to hammer. And close that. And now we're gonna tick that out. Alright, so what we are going to do is just position these to this light. You don't want them too far in. If you do it like this, you see it glides. It's gonna give a weird lightning effect. Lighting effect. Like you glow inside something and that doesn't turn out well. I can keep one here just to show you how bad it is. We can actually run this up so now I don't I got a game up so I don't w I don't want to run after combining. So I can do like this. Now it's done. Just go here. Press F9 if you don't got the console up. Map copy your room. No lights is is the name of this one. Kablam. So we go. Now I'm just gonna drag them one, one ahead, one ward down. I used grid size four. I think it's and I have two, so one from the bottom of it. Then I hold shift and click and drag, and then I release the sh mouse button before shift, so it gets duplicated over here. Then I got two of those over here, so I can just. Control click on that one to select them both. Shift click to drag them down and match them up. If you see this X here, that's the lamp model's center. So I can just snap it there and check so it it's not too high up. Control E to snap. One off, that's good. You don't have to have them in the center, but I tend to do that. Alright! We got those set up. Now just gonna show you this light. See, it doesn't light up the ground at all. You see my hand is getting a little bit of this light. Just a little bit. Because it's inside that prop. And that gives weird lightning. It doesn't come out, it's stuck inside. That's why it's so dark. dark. So now you know that. Alright. And now for the spotlights. These. They had a pretty cool effect. Where it shined down and when you looked up to them you get you get blinded. Like you would look into the sun. So now we need to create a new entity. It's called Spot Point Spotlight. And it's gonna be facing down. Blam. Select it and control E to snap and just drag it up there, whatever it is. There it is. And now I'm just gonna go over to the other map. Let's see here. There we go. To check where, it, how far it was down from it. So I can take this ten from it. Okay. If you open up another one, here open, as I did, 
Then you go into window and just switch to the other one here. There we go. So it was 10 down. So I can just draw this box here. Let's check so I had the right grid size. Yeah, two on here as well. So 10 down. Blam. Where is this thing? Where are we working? There we are. Okay. So, here we go. I'm gonna be in that center. So, blam. And now I'm gonna hold shift and duplicate this. So, I drag it down. So, I get two of them. And I double click on one of them to change this to the light and it's a light underscore spot so we can use right spot and there we go light spot and this was a bit higher up yeah it's just one it's off grid here no and the brightness for this one was five as well so we're just gonna move it up there you go and we change the brightness to 5 kablammo now we can just duplicate these over to these points here because I think that is yeah that is the spots alright so kablam and kablam I think we had another set of spotlights. No. Oh yeah, we have one there. Somewhere. There it was. So let's shift click drag. Alright. I think all the lights are set up now. So let's save it. Sh control S and F9 and yes. No, yes, and okay. So now open Left 4 Dead 2, reload the map. There you go. Adrenaline shot here. All right. Damn. It just hit me. We missed two more. Oops. We missed di missed this one as well. So I'm just gonna check how uh, high up it is. From the ground. Seventy. All right. So. Make a new light. If you forget anything I say, just go through as I do. Switch between the different ver versions. You don't have to have this pinpoint accuracy with 70 in height and such, but I want I want you to have as just as I had it in and then I have it like over here somewhere and shift click over there somewhere save and now we need to recompile it to get these new lights so it will sh light up this wall nicely and shoot <laughs> I forget everything we forgot about this one this little pill the pulsing light. So now we can do l this. We take this one, get it down here. It's hard to see here, but you can go to perspective view here. You see that somewhere here. And now we're gonna check the settings on this one as well. Oh, that's low. Zero to five. I'm gonna copy that one over to that five, 
and then we're gonna change the appearance here you got some different appearances yeah it's pretty basic you need this one you need to load up a map make a box and just look at them one by one but we have gonna use our gentle pulse here click apply and then we're gonna copy it over here just to check the pinpoint accuracy it is two from it two from it and two from it there we go say once again blam compile and reload the map fantastic All right. You can't see that really it pulses a little cuz every light is turned on right now. And in the next video, we're going to enable this button to do so they can yeah, be toggled on. Not toggled, but you can switch them on and then the switch is going to break after about 5 seconds. So you can't turn them off. And that lamp here is break. So thanks for watching this video and uh, jump to the next one to see how you make outputs and make something trigger something else. Like we're gonna do here, we're gonna make the button trigger the lamps and a little bit of other things. So thanks for watching. The Please comment and send me something if you got a problem or something, just ask. I'm happy to help. So thanks for watching. If you like it, of course like it. If you want to subscribe for more tutorials and my time lapse and such, feel free to do it. I also got a stream, I'm gonna link it in the description as well. So be sure to watch the other videos. Thanks for watching.